On November 9th, the world received two images that no one was ready for. The James Webb Telescope and the Virtual Telescope Project released the latest photographs of the interstellar object known as 3I Atlas, and what they revealed has left scientists speechless. In these images, the object appeared as a compact, brilliant point of light, without the faintest trace of a tail, no sign of outgassing, no cloud of dust or gas, nothing that should accompany an object losing billions of tons of material near the sun. But here's the most unsettling part. It looks exactly the same as it did back in July when the Hubble Space Telescope last photographed it. For an object that should have already lost more than 5 billion tons of mass due to solar heating, its unchanged appearance is a cosmic insult to every known law of cometary physics. To some, it's a simple anomaly. To others, it's something far greater. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb calls it a wake-up call from the cosmos. Because if these images are what they appear to be, a body accelerating through the solar system without ejecting anything, then 3I Atlas may not be a comet at all. It may be something built. It all began when astronomers noticed something strange in late October. As 3I Atlas approached its closest point to the sun, its perihelion, the object began to accelerate, not slow down. This is impossible. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Atlas deviated from its predicted orbit by four arc seconds, a small angle that, at a distance of 203 million kilometers, equals a shift of tens of thousands of kilometers. Something enormous was pushing it off course. The calculations stunned mission analysts. The object was accelerating outward, away from the sun, at 0.2 millimeters per second squared, while simultaneously drifting sideways at nearly the same rate. In a single month, that's a displacement of over 80 kilometers, far too large to be the result of random fluctuations. The question spread through every observatory from Hawaii to Chile. What invisible hand was steering this object? The usual explanation, outgassing, didn't work. To achieve that kind of thrust, Atlas would have had to vent at least one-sixth of its total mass, equivalent to five billion tons of vaporized gas forming a blinding halo visible even through small backyard telescopes. But the sky remained empty. There was no cloud, no tail, no vapor, nothing. To understand how absurd this is, the Virtual Telescope Project released a side-by-side -side comparison between 3I Atlas and Comet Lemon, a completely ordinary comet photographed under identical conditions just days earlier. Lemon behaved as expected a radiant, ghostly tail streaming away from the sun, perfectly shaped by solar radiation. But Atlas? It was still just a dot. Sharp, compact, unblemished. It was like comparing a living organism to a statue, one radiating motion and energy, the other frozen and silent. For Atlas to accelerate without producing debris is like watching a rocket fly without exhaust. The physics don't just fail, they collapse. When Loeb ran the calculations, he found that if the acceleration were truly cometary, the outflowing gases would have created a glow brighter than the full moon. And yet, the images from November 5th show nothing of the kind. The object's magnitude, its color, and its symmetry all remain eerily constant. The Virtual Telescope's director, Gianluca Massi, called it the most baffling observation I've ever made. Because even the instruments designed to detect faint traces of dust returned the same reading, zero. When the data reached Harvard, Loeb and his team began reconstructing the physics behind the acceleration. Using Atlas's estimated mass of 33 billion tons, nearly a million times heavier than Oumuamua, they concluded that no known natural process could account for the force acting on it. Solar radiation pressure was too weak. Outgassing was invisible. Gravitational interactions with planets were impossible at that distance. That left one option, an unknown mechanism. We have to accept what the data is showing us, Loeb said. If the physics fails, the theory must adapt. But few were ready to adapt to the implications. The truth was too heavy. Because the numbers didn't just describe motion, they described intention. The acceleration was not random. It was smooth, consistent, perfectly aligned with the sun's position, as if someone, or something, had calibrated it. The last time we saw behavior even remotely similar was with Oumuamua, but this time the effect was stronger, faster, and far more deliberate. 
As data poured in from telescopes around the world, a pattern began to emerge. 3i Atlas wasn't breaking just one rule, it was breaking all of them. Its orbit was almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, within five degrees of the path followed by Earth and the other planets. A coincidence so improbable that Loeb called it the equivalent of hitting a cosmic bullseye in total darkness. Then came the jet anomaly, a burst of material that shot directly toward the sun, the opposite of what any comet does. Normally, solar radiation pushes dust away from the sun, forming tails that always point outward. But Atlas defied even that, as though repelling sunlight itself. Its speed was another impossibility. Faster than smaller, lighter bodies like Oumuamua and Borisov, even though its mass should make it sluggish. And its brightness curve defied logic. As it neared the sun, it brightened at a rate of negative seven, twice the intensity of any known comet. Then came the color, blue. Not icy white, not fiery red, but an electric spectral blue, hotter than the sun's own photosphere. Its surface temperature seemed to exceed 5,800 Kelvin, a feat no natural object can achieve without vaporizing. By now, astronomers weren't just confused, they were alarmed. Because if 3i Atlas isn't following the rules of celestial mechanics, then it's following something else, perhaps a command. Spectroscopic scans from James Webb and ground-based observatories revealed something even stranger, the object's composition. Unlike natural comets, which have random mixtures of rock, ice, and minerals, Atlas displayed a precise ratio of nickel to iron, the same ratio found in engineered high-temperature alloys used in spacecraft and jet engines. In nature, metals blend chaotically, but Atlas's metals were balanced, refined, and organized. It also contained only 4% water, making it drier than the driest deserts on Earth. Not the dirty snowball we expect, but a structure that looks forged, not frozen. Some scientists now suspect that the outer shell may not be natural at all. It could be a ceramic or composite layer, heat-resistant and polished, explaining why it reflects light so cleanly without showing cracks or irregularities. That reflection produces an unprecedented polarization signature. Light waves aligned with mathematical precision, something that has never been seen in a natural body. As Loeb said, if you were to design a probe to survive a billion-year journey across the galaxy, it would look exactly like this. And then came the revelation that stunned even the skeptics. When researchers plotted the trajectory of 3i Atlas, they noticed that its path intersected the orbits of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, but not Earth. Its timing was perfect. During perihelion, when it should have been closest to Earth and easiest to observe, it instead positioned itself behind the Sun, hidden from our instruments. This alignment is so statistically improbable that some astrophysicists now believe it cannot be coincidence. This isn't random, one JPL analyst said. It's deliberate navigation. The idea sounds insane until you see the math. The orbit is so precise that if plotted backward, it points directly toward the same region of the sky from which the WOW signal of 1977 originated. A narrow band radio burst SETI has been chasing for decades. Two phenomena, decades apart, from the same cosmic coordinates. Coincidence? Maybe. But as the data mounted, maybe began to sound a lot like denial. Every new image released by the Virtual Telescope Project only deepened the mystery. 3 I Atlas's color, the deep ultraviolet blue that no comet should emit, defied every thermal model. Blue light means temperature. Blue light means energy. And yet, the object showed no signs of decay. No fragmentation, no heat signature in the infrared. It was glowing with light that wasn't heat at all. Light that seemed self-generated, like radiation from plasma or ionized gases under control. Some plasma physicists have proposed that the object could be using electromagnetic propulsion, generating thrust by manipulating solar wind itself. Technology humans have only tested at experimental levels. Others believe it could be something simpler, the remnant of a machine so ancient and autonomous that it continues to operate on instinct long after its makers are gone. If true, then we may not just be observing alien technology. We may be witnessing alien persistence, a mechanism still running its mission after eons in silence. And so, the countdown begins. On December 19, 2025, 
3i Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth, passing at a distance of 167 million miles, near enough for every major telescope, from Hubble to Webb, to capture it in unprecedented detail. If it's a comet, we will finally see the massive gas cloud that physics demands. But if no such cloud appears, if Atlas remains the same silent, blue, perfectly compact body it has always been, then the entire cometary explanation collapses. What remains is something far more disturbing. Could it be a probe, an autonomous observer, scanning our solar system as part of an ancient experiment? Or is it something even stranger, a device designed to activate when civilizations like ours reach the nuclear threshold, as some speculative physicists now fear? For now, no one knows. But every image, every spectral line, every silent motion in the dark suggests one thing. This object is watching, and it may not be done yet. As the newest images from the Virtual Telescope Project make their rounds through every lab, observatory, and online forum on Earth, one feeling hangs in the air heavier than wonder, unease. The cosmos has just given us another impossible riddle, and this time it's staring right back at us. 3i Atlas continues its journey through the solar system, cold, blue, and silent, defying every equation we've ever trusted. It doesn't behave like a comet, doesn't look like an asteroid, doesn't fit into any of the tidy boxes that human science has built to make sense of the sky. It accelerates when it should decelerate. It burns blue when it should glow white. It hides when it should shine. It follows a path that looks less like coincidence and more like choreography. And yet, when the data arrives, it arrives with perfect clarity, no noise, no error. As if the universe itself were forcing us to see something we've spent centuries trying not to see. The more we learn, the less we understand. Every new image released by the Virtual Telescope Project only deepens the paradox. The same compact, luminous point of light, perfectly stable, perfectly calm, perfectly alien in its indifference. It's as if the sun itself can't touch it, as if radiation, gravity, and heat all slide off its surface like light from a mirror. If it's natural, then it's rewriting our definition of what natural even means. If it's artificial, then we've just witnessed the most profound discovery in human history, evidence that we are not the first to walk beneath these stars. Either way, the world we thought we understood has already changed, because the question now isn't whether this object is a comet, that question died the moment it accelerated without a tail. The real question, the one no one dares to say aloud, is this. What kind of intelligence designed something that can travel for billions of years across interstellar space, powered by nothing we can detect, guided by precision we can't explain, and still function flawlessly after eons? What kind of civilization does that? How long ago did they live? Are they still out there now? Or are we watching the drifting relic of their memory, a ghost ship crossing the cosmic ocean, repeating its mission long after its makers have turned to dust? Dr. Avi Loeb warned us years ago that when science refuses to face anomalies, it turns into dogma. We cannot claim to be seekers of truth, he said, if we only accept the truths that make us comfortable. 3. I Atlas is that discomfort. A reminder that the universe is not obligated to fit inside our theories. It never has been. The sun does not ask for our permission to burn. The stars do not require our approval to shine. And when something enters our skies that we can't explain, we are meant to question, not to dismiss. So here we are again, staring at another visitor from the dark, and the silence around it feels almost intentional. Perhaps this is how first contact really happens, not through radio signals or flashing lights in the sky, but through subtle defiance through quiet impossibilities that force us to look again, to think differently, to evolve. Maybe that's the lesson of 3i Atlas, that discovery isn't about conquering the unknown, but learning how to stand in front of it without fear. And now, as December 19th approaches, the day it will pass nearest to our planet, every telescope on Earth will turn toward it. Maybe we'll finally see what it truly is. Maybe we'll see nothing at all. But whatever happens, will remember this moment, the first time in human history that a piece of the cosmos looked back at us and refused to explain itself. Because sometimes the universe doesn't whisper its secrets. Sometimes it shows them to you in plain sight and dares you to believe. 
If this story made you question what's really out there, don't let it disappear into the noise. Subscribe to this channel, because we'll keep following 3 Eye Atlas until its light fades beyond our reach. Turn on notifications. The moment new data drops, you'll know first. And tell us in the comments, what do you think 3 Eye Atlas really is? A rock? A probe? Or the first message from a civilization that learned how to speak in silence?